you. <laughs> Boy, what the f happened to my voice? All right, I'm gonna try that again. Hey yo, what is poppin' y'all? Louie here, back at it again with another quarantine video, day number 26. Growing up, I've always been curious. You know, like, I've always been curious about the world and how things work, and even outside of this planet. My original dream was to uh, go to college, of course, study mechanical engineering, and once I graduated with my bachelor's degree, I wanted to work at NASA or Lockheed Martin, which is basically like the same thing, but like on a smaller scale. But um, yeah, I really wanted to work for one of those two companies and build rockets for like scientists and help them in every single way to discover the unknown. You know, like to reach the outer bounds of the universe. It was a pretty bold dream. The original reason I wanted to work at those two places was because, yes, I was curious, but also because of the money. Before my junior year in high school, I wanted to work on like cars and little things like that. But then I realized that like they only paid like 60K, 70K, which I mean, it's a lot, it's a decent amount of money, but like I wanted more. So that's why I went to, um, went to Rockets. I wanted to do something bigger and make more money. The people who work at those two places make close to or over six figures based on your experience. That was my dream job. But the only two things that were stopping me was one, calculus, and two, my grades. Calculus, I already told you guys this in previous videos, but it f***ed me over. It really did. Because um, I wasn't expecting it to be that difficult. Calculus is like a foreign language. It's like Chinese or something like that. It's so different from like algebra and geometry and all those other math classes. Even statistics. Statistics, that's even worse. My grades were too sh to become anything, honestly. Just because I needed like a 5.0 just to get into like NASA or Lockheed Martin. I needed a 4.0. I was over exaggerating or a 3.0 I think I'm not sure but I need a high GPA and that was not happening with me I don't want to say I'm stupid because I'm obviously not <laughs> okay. but like I wouldn't say that I'm exactly the most studious guy out there because <laughs> and I was I was telling my mom just the other day like <laughs> My mom asked me straight up, like, would my vocabulary be as good right now if I didn't go to college? And I told her straight up, like, yeah, because I just cheated on everything. But anyways, I had below a 2.0 in college and that was just because I was so focused on the gym. So I kind of had to revise my dreams because of two things. I don't want to say that they were unrealistic, but like they were unobtainable for me at that time point in time the second reason is because i don't want to work for anybody ever again because my past experiences at Wawa, joe's and bamazon kind of like taught me that i don't like being told what to do you know like i can't stand working underneath of anybody and helping them chase their dreams and their goals like that shit. i want to chase my dreams and my goals but anyways, another one of my dreams is to open up my own garage or rather like a laboratory and a garage just so that way I can create like gadgets, gizmos and also work on cars and actually learn new things. Shit. This video is about curiosity, not dreams. Whoops. Um, one thing that I have always been curious about since I was like nine or 10 was extraterrestrial life or aliens. 
when I first began, you know, doing research and all that on it, um, I was very fascinated by the fact that, like, there is extraterrestrial life out there. And the reason that I say is, is because there is. There are like over a billion or a trillion, I forgot how many, um, different galaxies and universes out there. So there has to be some other form of life. Many people don't believe in extraterrestrials because of the fact that like the US government hides a lot of from us. Although for the first time in history, the US has actually exposed some videos of unidentified flying objects or UFOs. Other people just think that we're alone. And to me, honestly, I'm not sure why they would think that because like, like I said earlier, there are so many galaxies and universes out there that like there's bound to be life on at least some of them. I feel like it's actually preposterous to believe that there isn't anything else out there. The only question is, why would the US government try to hide, you know, like aliens or UFOs and all that? I can't speak upon the entire US government, but my guess would be that they don't want to lose control of everybody. For example, George Floyd. The entire nation went absolutely insane because a white officer killed a black man. Another one. That led to some rioting and some looting. Now imagine that the US tried to drop a bombshell like, oh, aliens exist. The entire nation would go berserk. They would probably tear down the doors of Area 51 just to get as much information as possible. I'm gonna close this out by saying that aliens exist and it's only a matter of time before we all find them. Anyways, as always, much love, be safe, and catch you tomorrow. Peace! Is it? It's not. It is on us, dude. Well, if there's like a thing, it's rotating.